going to start by gluing I'm sure you can't see I'm going to have to fix that okay let's put that there and we're going to put that I want to do it very tight all the way around. I may have to re-glue that. I don't want it to touch the candle. Hold it for a second. I hope this is showing. It's not showing very well. I'm sorry guys, I don't have good and camera angle here. just going around here. and around, gluing the rope down. as I go. So there's the base of it and I've got it squished down pretty good. And what I'll do is go in and just remove some of the glue once it's all dry and take my candle out and there we have the bottom. So I just have to glue this bottom part on a little bit better. And any of the glue that seeps out I'll be able to just remove as soon as the glue is dry. And there we have it, so that um, you can put your candle in and change it up. And like I said, so I'll put something right here just to hide the ending. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's move in. There we go. So something like that to hold them all, to hide the, the glue ends there. Okay, with my cold, I just had to sneeze. Alrighty. So, um, the idea is you take a, you take a cereal box and then you put this down. You, um, outline it all around. And there you have some, and I have different sizes, and you cut them out. And now one girl was putting two back-to-back -back and gluing, um, you know, gluing the other sides, the opposite sides together, so she'd have the brown, but I thought, I'm going to try spray painting. So I went outside, and I, have, I cut two circles, so I put one gold and one white on, you know, the uh, painted side of the of the box, the the right side. Then the boxes that these candles came in, the plastic, I thought I could use these. So I, uh, can you see? Just barely? Um, yeah, there they are. So I cut out two of those and I'm going to try that so that it's clear on the bottom. Um, I'm not sure how to work, but I, I have enough glasses that I could try different ones. So right now, I just went outside and sprayed the little discs. I'll wait till they dry. Now, it's possible that it'll buckle up and not keep them flat, but I just wanted to try it and see, trying different ideas. All right, so the gold disc is dry. I didn't do both sides, I only did one. Um, because I thought it would be nice for the base and then the sand would go in there. So now I'm going to add three shells in there and I'm going to pour in, I hope you can see that well enough, there we go. And I'm going to pour in some sand. Last time I put too much in, so I'm going to try this with this and turn it over and almost, oops, you almost have to shake it to see and I think that looks really nice and I think that's just enough sand and of course it's coming all out all over. So 
now comes the part where I need to glue the bottom to the glass. The reason that I'm using the hot glue gun and nothing permanent is so that, you know, if people want to change it up, they can take things off and redo it themselves, whatever way they want. So let's get started and I have to glue the top. And with hot glue, you have to go fast because it dries so quickly. Really should only have done portions of it. But let's see if I can keep it heated enough to get the top off on. And we'll add the top. taken off later. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And there's the lid. I'm going to let that dry for just a few minutes. I know it's almost dry now, but I just want to make sure there's no gaps. Well, that should be pretty good. And now we're going to turn it over, shake it up so that I can, nothing's perfect the first time, right? And that's not working. Okay. my rope to finish it off around the bottom and there we have it I could also finish up here I suppose but no nope. I don't want it to be too much so I have put it around the base and I put the rope around the base and I've added a little shell and I'm gonna have to shake this up um, I probably could have used more sand, but this is my first one, and uh, we never know. Now I'm going to hot glue the rope to the top, and I can't see. Here we go. Sorry, I'm out of frame. And like I said, the reason I use hot glue is because um, everything can be taken apart. It's not permanent. So it can be changed up or replaced if anything needs to be fixed or whatever. And we're going to sit that right on there. Nice and neat. Mom's going to be in here in a second to see how I'm doing. And there we are. And the candle sits right in there. How does that look for my first one? Not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> 